This is uh, Riley, episode one, uh, written by Mark Williams, uh, directed by Harry Burfield, and then edited by Callum Turner. Uh, just quickly, we're going to go around. Uh, Neve is playing Riley, Edson is playing Susan, which is Riley's mum. Ollie is playing David, which is um, Riley's dad. Uh, Sophia is playing Alex, which is Riley's love interest. And then Jade is being played by Connor. Um, and I am being playing all of the stage directions and Miss Patel. Nice. Okay, here we go. Uh, scene one, school corridor. The corridor is dimly lit. In the distance, we hear quick footsteps, increasingly getting louder. Riley sprints past. Going as fast as she can, she checks the door, uh, the door numbers for her room. She walks into the room and stands at the door. Sorry I'm late, Miss Patel. It won't happen again. Miss Patel looks up at Riley from her desk. She sighs, rubs her face with her hands, and looks back at Riley. Riley, I'm going to have to put forward a recommendation for a two-week suspension. You can, you can leave and think about what, your behaviour, because it's just unacceptable. Miss Patel points at the door with her hands, and Riley goes round. She goes to respond, so she leaves it. She moves towards the door and leaves. Sorry. Riley turns and leaves the room. She shuts the door behind. Scene two, high street in the morning. Riley is walking down the high street. She puts in her second earphone and starts to listen to her music. While she is walking home, her mum starts ringing her phone. Riley leaves it to go and answer, leaves it to answer and then she listens to the answer phone. Riley, we spoke about this. Getting suspended for the rest of the week is pathetic behavior. You better have a good damn excuse for this time, otherwise you're in a whole lot of trouble. Scene three, Riley, comic book shop in the morning. Riley walks into the shop, starts to look through the shop's massive industry of comic books. She comes across a comic called Time Leaper. The comic features a girl running through time. She is also holding a stopwatch that gives her the ability to stop time. She goes to the counter to buy the comic. Just this, please. Riley places the comic onto the counter. Of course you can, darling. You know, if you like it, let me know we have a replica of the watch she uses. Oh, cool, thank you. Jade smiles and looks at Riley. That's five pounds for the comic then, please. Riley gives Jade a five pound note and walks away with the comic book in hand. Next scene, uh, bus stop in the morning. Riley is standing at the bus stop in the middle of the queue. She's Going onto a bus, she puts both her headphones in and slowly moves down the line towards the bus. Um, scene five, Riley's house, day. Riley walks through her front door and drops a bag onto the sofa. She proceeds to walk into the kitchen, which starts to look for something to eat. Riley makes herself a sandwich and starts to eat it when she hears shouting from upstairs. She needs help. How do you expect her to get through life with her problems, Susan? Shut up or she'll hear you. I, I just want to help our daughter. Riley's mum slams the door upstairs and walks into the kitchen. She looks at Riley, up and down, and then goes to get her back. She throws it on the table. Just... just leave. Next scene, scene six, coffee shop, afternoon. Riley is sitting in the coffee shop where she is reading the cut book she brought. On the table there are several different cups of coffee all over the place. Hi. Riley looks up and sees the girl standing in front of her. Hi. Alex shyly looks at Riley. I saw you were reading my favourite comic. I was wondering what you thought of it. It's pretty good. I like the pace of the story. Alex sits down in front of Riley. The art style is so good. I know, it's awesome. Alex reaches into a bag and pulls out another comic book. It gets better in the second one. Riley looks at the book and smiles. Wow, the cover is so cool. Riley pulls the book towards herself. She inspects the cover of, of the book and the different levels of detail within the cover. I have to say, the power to stop time is so cool. I wish I could do it in real life. I know, it would make life so much easier, being able to pause everything around you. Alex buys Riley a cup of coffee and they continue to talk about the comic book. On the high street, afternoon, season 7. Riley is walking down the high street listening to her music. After Alex came and sat with me, it felt this moment. I felt this instant connection to her. Everything she said. I was intrigued to find out what it was she wanted to say. My heart just pumping and I don't didn't know. Ugh, sorry. And I didn't want to leave. Riley smiles to herself and continues to walk to the comic book shop. Scene 8, comic book shop, afternoon. Riley walks into the comic book shop and starts searching for the many different shelves and tables for the replica on the stopwatch. Jade looks at Riley, searching through the shop. Everything alright, darling? Riley stops and walks over to the counter. Hi, you said there was a replica? Jade <laughs> <laughs> 
This is a comic book shop. There are so many different kinds of replicas. You're going to have to be a bit more specific. The stopwatch. Riley pulls out the timing of a comic book. See the watch from this comic book. Oh, the yeah, the stopwatch. The stopwatch. Jade reaches under her desk and pulls out a small box within a clock printed on the top. There are the initials T L. Timely. Riley smiles and pulls out her bank card. Can I buy it? Scene 9, outside the comic book shop, afternoon. Riley leaves the shop and stands outside, the stands outside and opens the box. Riley, Riley gets the stopwatch from inside and holds it in her hand. She puts the box in her bag and presses the button on the watch. And once she presses the button, a bird flying above her freezes in place. Cars moving around her stop moving. Time has frozen. End of recording. Thank you very much. <clears throat>